Hi, I'm Randy Whelan with a quick tip for improving your crankbait bite in the months of August going into September. Quite frequently you'll find bait balls, a young of the year bait between bluegills, shiners, and other bait forms in the top of the water column, usually either along the shorelines following the uh, tight shallow weeds or often even out into the basin of the lake, you'll find them in the top five, six feet of water. Commonly seeing small mouth, large mouth feeding on those and breaking surface in the early mornings and in the evenings. One of my favorite baits that I like to use is the bait ball by Copper's Live Target. It comes in various colors, but it mimics the young of the year bait. Joining this now will be for 2015 will be the new Bait Ball Junior that will be out both in a lipless and in different sizes. Some of my other favorite baits that I really like for this time of year. There's a tendency to go to large baits. People think in the water's warm, the fish's metabolism is very high and they need to eat frequently. But because I'm mimicking with the food source of what they're eating, some people refer to these baits as going to micros. I like the smaller baits and this is commonly overlooked. This is the smallest side of the, or size of the Copper's Live Target Gizzard Shad in a lipped bait. And one of my last favorites is of a crappie. It, all of these baits are in that two inch, two and a half inch range, ranging from about three eighths of an ounce to a half ounce. And again, these are baits that mimic the food source, natural to a lake, things that you need to take and look at and add to your arsenal to improve your crankbait bite in the months of August and September when the fish are feeding on the young of the year. One of the things that I like to do with presenting this bait is Seven foot, medium action. I do like braid, I don't like the stretch of mono. I will run with a short mono or floral leader to it. Simple barrel coming down to a snap. What I really like about the Live Target bait ball is that this bait has a very slow floating, more of a suspending action to it. But rather than most suspending baits that'll sit horizontal, the nose will tilt down, just like dying or injured bait that's slowly sinking or is stunned. And what these smallmouth are doing is they're coming up and they're just breaking through these bait balls, scattering and injuring them, and then circle around. So one of the things I like to do in my presentation on these stick baits, making long casts, I like to crank them down a couple of feet, give them a couple snaps, and then give them long pauses. Sometimes I'll give it all the way up to about maybe a 7 to 10 count. Give it a couple more sweeps of the rod. Let that bait just set out there. And at this time I've been seeing some other bass come around breaking surface changing or chasing the bait. I'm giving them time to zo or zero in on that. See that bait. See a subtle movement from it and be able to circle back and come on that. When these fish are coming up on these bait, a lot of times they're shooting up from 16, 18, 20 feet of water, break the bait balls up, go back down, and as they're down coming back up, they're seeing that bait just sitting there. So I want to give them time to locate that. And that's one of the things that I see so many people overdo or do is overwork their baits. Fish. That fish smacked that bait with it only being down about two to three feet just sitting there with them long pauses. Large mouth. Large mouth and the live target bait ball.